Hey what's up, this is Archangel here. Stone Island has seen massive increases in popularity over the last few years, far beyond the football and casual culture that it's typically been associated with in the UK. The brand's signature logo is a symbol of quality construction, Italian styling, and of course a premium price tag. And while the most common pieces are perhaps the more simple ones, like sweaters and hoodies and lightweight jackets, the brand is perhaps best known for its innovation and using all kinds of different construction and dyeing techniques in their clothing, right up to things like the thermosensitive jacket, which you probably will have seen if you've been watching this channel a while. And on top of that, there's all kinds of new items and ultra-exclusive pieces which maybe see one release and then never come out again, and those of course get a huge amount of attention but they come at a price. But sitting eternally in Stone Island's shadow is CP Company, a brand which people either overlook or don't really know about, or dismiss as being either just boring Stone Island, or rather amusingly, a copy of Stone Island. But I want to set the record straight because I think that CP Company is absolutely a brand worth considering if you like your technical clothing, your streetwear in general, or of course if you like Stone Island. So we're going to be looking at a few key specific reasons why CP Company I think is underrated and worth keeping a lookout for. And we'll look at a couple of things that I've picked up over the years as well. So let's get going. First off, I'm just going to come right out and say it. CP Company tends to be cheaper than Stone Island. That's both the retail prices, which often come in a little bit lower than Stone Island equivalents, and they are more likely to hit the sales because of the slightly lower levels of popularity and hype surrounding CP Company. So particularly if your interest is in those more staple pieces, the overshirts, the sweaters, even lightweight jackets, you'll often find that CP Company gives you a good ability to get that similar level of construction quality and similar aesthetics, but at a lower price. And you're wearing a slightly more underground brand, which might be a positive too, depending on how you look at things. But in terms of discounts, we aren't just seeing more common discounts, but also higher discount thresholds. So I find it's more common for CP Company to go down to 50% off sometimes in sales, whereas it's very rare to see that level of discount from Stone Island, unless we're talking those really, really expensive pieces, which even at 50% off are still pretty expensive. And at those kinds of prices, you can get genuinely decent stuff without having to spend quite that amount of money. That applies to the second-hand market as well. If you're willing to scour around your favorite second-hand online marketplace, you might find a whole wealth of CP company stuff coming in cheaper than Stone Island because it doesn't command that same level of hype. And thanks to the brand's history, there's an extensive catalogue of things back in the archives to go back to. Which brings me on to my second key CP company point, and that is the brand's heritage and history. They were founded in 1971 as Chester Perry Company by Massimo Osti, a full 11 years before Stone Island. In 1988, they brought out the goggle jacket as the ultimate tool for adventurous types, and this was distributed to Mille Miglia rally participants that year, because not only would it provide the water resistance, weather protection that they needed, but also have all the storage capacity to hold all the essentials for that 1,000 mile race. Since then, this has been their iconic signature design element, and you'll see this across a whole bunch of their pieces, often used in similar fashion to the Stone Island arm badge. But they still also use that original implementation of goggles on the hood and of watch viewers as well. But I think that reference back to the original goggle jacket is a key reason to appreciate it. It's something more tangible than just a logo. It's a very physical representation of, yeah, this is a brand that's associated with with what was at the time a very advanced and a really cool piece of outerwear. And every time that lens is used, that is a direct reference to that heritage and the brand's history. There's of course an aesthetic benefit to those lenses too. They look pretty cool when implemented on arms or bag pockets or whatever, but when we're talking goggle jackets, there's that clear look of over-preparedness and utility that is absolutely key to the tech wear aesthetic. There's that kind of, oh, that guy over there, he's literally prepared for, I don't know, like a sandstorm or something. Any situation, that guy can lock down those goggles and he's covered. 
Now, you're probably not going to be walking around with these goggles on your face 99% of the time. It would have to be a really desperate situation for you to want to do that. But even when they're not deployed, they still have a lot of visibility. And I found back when I used to wear that CP Company goggle jacket, people would ask me about it more than almost anything else that I wore. They really do spark conversation and curiosity. And I really like things that get people interested in clothing in that way and give you that chance to kind of talk about it and share something that's kind of cool. You'll at least get a laugh out of people when you deploy the goggles for no real reason just to show them off. You can't do that with a Stone Island badge. I mean, you could, but... Another sub point worth mentioning is the garment dyeing process that is now synonymous with Stone Island is not also used extensively by CP Company, but was actually used by them first in the 70s before Stone Island even existed. While CP Company and Stone Island are definitely distinct, particularly with the former's longer history, the crossover between the two I think also makes a great reason to not forget about CP Company. One of the common criticisms of the brand is, well, it's just regular clothes with an arm lens applied, but actually a lot of Stone Island clothing has similar CP Company equivalents. So if you're a fan of those more staple pieces, or you like those garment dyed things, for example, you'll often find, yeah, when we're talking sweaters, overshirts, things like that, if there's a Stone Island version, you may well find a similar CP Company equivalent, so you've got a little bit more choice there. I have one of the CP Company overshirts, and it can basically be worn in any situation under the sun thanks to its lightweight, breathability, water resistance, it's got a bit of a jacket-like structure as well, so it feels a lot more substantial than a regular shirt does. Made from this really nice 50 filly material as well, which is very much a CP Company staple, but uh, has similar equivalents over on Stone Island, but this thing, 50% nylon and 50% cotton, and kind of inherits some of the better characteristics of both of those materials, so it does have a little bit of of structure to it um, but still feels quite comfortable next to skin so yeah there's loads of situations where you could wear that thing and I really like it personally. They do have some hidden gems and accessories too which for whatever reason just seem to fall under the radar and um, certainly compared to Stone Island equivalents. So I've got here this CP Company vest this was a bit of a recent pickup for me because um, I was looking for basically something exactly like this. I really like those kind of uh, holster type devices but I didn't want anything that was too military looking a lot of them are very tactical in nature or they're like plate carriers or they just look like they're designed to carry weapons basically or you go the other way and they're basically fishing vests and they're kind of really full looking but I really wanted something that was like a little bit smaller a bit more maneuverable but still has that obviously uh, technical performance focused look and this absolutely fits the bill I think this looks really cool it's based on a life preserver so it does kind of have that life jacket but make it tech wear kind of deal but it's got a whole load of stuff to it there's these little pockets on here there's loads of ways you can adjust it it's got a hood in the top that folds away which I've never really seen in a product like this before I think it perfectly fits my style, it's really cool looking, but it's just something that I've barely seen anyone else wear or talk about or anything, and I feel like if that came out under Stone Island, it would be mega popular and everyone and their nan would be rushing out to go and buy one and wear one in their streetwear outfits. And I didn't even pay full price, that was 25% off retail, which I just feel wouldn't have happened if it had a Stone Island logo on it. But it still looks really cool, I think, and actually better looking than any of the Stone Island equivalents, and just in its own right, is a really great and a unique piece. Super happy with it. The difference is at that top end, I suppose. There's not really a CP Company equivalent to Ghost Piece or Shadow Project, or those special projects that Stone Island come out with every season. But this brings us to another reason to consider them, they absolutely do come out with new experimental pieces every season, with different techniques being used to what you would find on Stone Island. Take this season for example, they've got their new tracery stuff, which uses this unique dyeing process where the dye takes differently depending on the thickness of the material, which gives this really three-dimensional effect, almost a bleached appearance where the dye has really pulled out um, those kind of creases that you'll find in the fabric or things like pockets and other details like that. That's exactly the kind of thing that Stone Island might do under their special projects. And 
Every season you'll find them using different materials and using things in different ways. Like last year there was some Gore-Tex Infinium stuff, but they used just kind of Gore-Tex Infinium sections rather than applying it to the whole jacket. And that's a material that not many brands are using at the moment. Before that we had Prism, which used this multicolored ripstop material, which in a similar fashion to the new stuff, really gave things a three-dimensional, um, this kind of slightly shimmering appearance almost, that I think was super cool, it looked great. Their coated fabric I think looks pretty cool as well and that's another one where the garment dyeing process really shines through there and gives a really heavily textured effect to each garment. So through CP Company you could definitely find yourself with some relatively unique pieces that you're not really going to see many other people wearing but are still pushing the boundaries in terms of material and dyeing experimentation. It's unfortunate they don't really have an equivalent to the ice knits or apparition leather jackets or any of those totally crazy experimental things that Stone Island get quite a lot of good press for. And at that top flagship level, like Stone Island, things can be a little bit hit and miss. Take this season, they've got these Ventile cotton jackets, which great material and great relationship between the material and the brand. But I think by putting those logos on there, which is kind of reminiscent to what Gore-Tex like to do when you use their material, that combined with the kind of contrast color stuff, I'm just not really sure it's a winner for me. But with those combined, there are a bunch of reasons to want to get excited about CP Company, from the real staple pieces, to the more experimental ones, to those little hidden gems or accessories that you just might not really find elsewhere, but for whatever reason just pop up in CP Company when you least expect them. All of those things, I think, have some great choices, and you'll find lower prices across the board compared to Stone Island. Don't get me wrong, I'd love to see a product or even a product line from CP Company which really goes all out in the experimentation front and could give Stone Island a run for its money. But even now, I think, as I say, there's a lot to like about the brand and definitely one that you should include when you're looking through some cool new stuff to buy or looking through end of season sales or whatever definitely don't dismiss them i think there's some cool stuff in there that's about all i have to say on cp company and i didn't even get to talk about my first pickup from them this garment dyed jumper which is maybe four or five years old now still going strong it's been putting in the work all of these years um yeah another great staple piece and i just bashed the microphone but that means that it's just about time to round this out now so if you've got any direct experience with CP Company, you've ever picked up any of this stuff, then definitely let me know your thoughts down there in the comments. Or if you're a massive Stone Island fanboy and you hate CP Company, then uh, you can leave your angry replies down there as well. But if you enjoyed the video, then please do give it a like. It is much appreciated. And of course, we will be back next week with another video. Shout out to Dylan. I'm sorry, but I had to do it to him. And shout out to Dimitri and Bass Zendali and a couple of others actually who requested more of those collection videos on different things, whether that be shoes or pants or bags and accessories, stuff like that. Definitely something that I'll consider doing in the future. Just want to make a few more cool pickups before I do. So there's some surprises in there. Thanks for making it all the way to the end of the video. If you haven't subscribed yet, then I don't know what you're playing at, but you can hit the button super easily and do that. And if you want to catch some more videos, there's going to be videos going up there as well. So you can check those out. But for now, that's all from this one. So I'm out.